Okay, it is Tuesday afternoon and I've just pulled up the park. I'm going to go out and have a couple, just one of those nice easy runs. Uh, I didn't do a video last week because I was traveling with my family. We took a few days vacation, just went off for uh, two days, uh, two nights um, away. And then so I took, I didn't run Sunday, Monday or Tuesday last week. So I had three days off. I haven't had a down week now in a couple of weeks. I don't really feel I need one. I'm still, training is still going really well. I'm still feeling great. So that's all good. Um... So theoretically, I should have had a bit of a down week over the last couple of weeks, but three or four weeks ago, I was a little bit sick, so I kind of had a forced down week that week. And like I said, I had three days off last week, so that kind of got me back. Um, yeah, so the week that was, was uh, it was a tough week because I crammed a lot in. I ran Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and in those five days, I managed to get just a little over 50 miles or 80, just over 80K. Uh, I had a long run on Sunday, which was 35 kilometers, um, and that was just five kilometers easy, five at marathon pace. For the whole 35 so it was three times doing 5k at martin pace and it felt quite comfortable um i finished that run at 439 average per kilometer so i was well pleased that was a good confidence booster um i also did a good uh, interval session on the friday night that was why i didn't video i ran on i ran on uh, wednesday night it was dark thursday it was rainy friday night i ran in the dark saturday was just a uh, an easy run i think i did 10k just easy pace and then sunday uh, i never bring a camera at the long run especially when i did with structure stuff like marathon pace but yeah training's going well um i'm going to get into the park now and just do a nice little 45 minutes nice and easy and then i might do another little run tonight i need to get some uh strides done but i don't feel doing them now i just feel i want to just go and switch off and do this easy run so i'll go and get that done and uh like i said try and get the strides done tonight all the glitter and gold is a walk by is it a daydream that you see neath my curtain bejeweled here only in your dreams oh is it love oh is it real i got you right where i want you chain on my wrist you dang so just clipping along uh 504 per kilometer just two kilometers down so far feels good once I've got moving, I can definitely feel a bit sore and certainly a bit tired. Um, yeah, last week has definitely taken its toll more than I thought. Uh, like I said, those five days crammed in uh, 80k. It was good. My body feels good, but I'm tired. I'm a little bit of left knee pain. Nothing major, just a small amount. But uh, the body feels a tiredness in it. So, like I said, I'm just going to take it handy. So I'm just cruising along here. Like I said, I am feeling a bit more tired than I would have expected. Um, heart rate's at just 131, which is fine. That's like the low end of zone two for me. So it is very easy. Um, average pace is 507. I've backed off a little bit. Um, that's a sign of sports that recovery isn't quite as optimal as I would want it to be um, and it's accumulation of that 80k is over 5 days um, but I did a podcast this year in the week um, this time last year if I was running at 506 per kilometre my heart rate would have been 145 to 150 now it's 130 so yeah fitness has definitely come on a lot um, I'm feeling strong but um, I'll just slow down for this. Uh, there is a possibility that the Valencia Marathon won't take place this year uh, due to recent strategies in the area. Um, we wish everybody there the best and the priority should be with those people who've lost loved ones and lost homes and business. Um, but hopefully in another couple of weeks they can, they can get it sorted. But really I'm not bothered either way. If they push it out a couple of weeks, just it's just a matter of change of flight and accommodation. Um, don't really mind i'll just push the training on a bit if that happens but hopefully it does go ahead um yeah uh i guess this week being in limbo about whether it goes ahead or not will probably make the long run this weekend i gotta do 37k this sunday that might be mentally a little bit tough to do um because that's the last big long one and uh yeah that might be tough to do because the race might not happen well look that's 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 a real first world problem um like i said my thoughts and prayers and are with all the people in valencia hopefully they get sorted hopefully the race goes ahead but if it doesn't it's really not the end of the world uh 
they'll probably just push it by a couple of weeks with Christmas I'd say it'll be the end of January maybe mid January end of January which would be nice uh, either way I'd be going I'll just keep the train ticking over so just coming up on 5k into this run average pace has come up a little bit and heart rate has dropped which is yeah good sign of fitness but uh the knee pain is gone which is great so it's that's just a little niggle nothing to worry about nothing to write home about um yeah training is going really well i'm feeling great i got a real positive attitude toward it this time the last time i raced the marathon i was quite down and negative about it i was fed up with training but at the moment it's all going great okay i'm 6k into this run six and a half and the heart rate has dropped now significantly so it's dropped down to about 123 per kilometer and the pace has dropped or sorry 123 beats per minute and the pace has dropped to about 452 or three i think the last one or two were so the recovery while moving is really good that's a great sign of fitness and um, although the overall recovery isn't great as because of a combination of running 50 miles in five days um the recovery on the go is good and that to me is a very good sign and uh leads for good optimism anyway i'm going to finish this run and then tonight i'm going to go out and do another run which would just be the strides so probably about 4k later just want to get the strides done i'm not going to do that now um i'm going to go and eat instead just to aid that recovery okay that's it for that run I ended up just doing 7k um i just want to go home and get some food before i've got a busy afternoon in the clinic so i think it's best just to go and eat some good food and then uh i'll get out later before i go to the gym later uh through the heavy leg session i'll just do a couple of kilometers and do some strides i think that'll work perfectly for both the fitness and the recovery so yeah uh that'll be the plan for the rest of the afternoon it's wednesday uh so I finished up yesterday with that run, which went pretty well. Um, and then went home, went to the gym last night. I didn't get to do the run with the strides. Uh, I just got busy with doing stuff. And then got to the gym, just did a hard upper body workout. Did a little bit of legs. So the legs feel a little bit sore today, but I've just done my workout. Uh, just done six by three minutes on, three uh, two minutes off. It was like a two minute shuffle recovery. And um, went well, but it, it, the workout today proved what I thought from yesterday. Is the body is definitely, it's tired it needs a bit of rest um yeah i was working hard on those three minutes i i didn't keep my watch i usually have my pace like my average pace or sorry the the lap pace on but i turned it off i was just going on feel so i i haven't looked at the data yet i've just finished um i would say i would say i was in around th uh, four minute per kilometer for the first four and then the second two, or the last two i really pushed it. i'd say i was around 355 per kilometer uh, but like i said the legs are a little bit tired I definitely feel sore and just a bit, little bit beaten up uh, with, with all the training. So anyway, look, it was a good session. I'm glad I got it done. I feel good now that I have it done. Uh, I did 25 minutes easy either side of that. So that's kind of helped to buffer the kind of bit of pain and, and tiredness. But yeah, training is still going well. Um, I'm still feeling very optimistic. I'm still feeling really good. I haven't had a real moody blues week yet, which is great because I thought I would have had more than one by now. Uh, but I am feeling a little bit tired anyway. Um, I got a lot of running to do uh, between now and Sunday and hopefully we find out by, by Friday whether this marathon is going to go ahead or not um, yeah either way look it's fine we'll see we'll deal with it either way but yeah that's it for this video guys remember run far run fast most of all run sensible